Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review on a brush by Marc Jacobs called The Blush. This is what it looks like. It has his name across it right here. It is a fairly dense angled brush or tapered, whichever way you choose to say this. Um, it is fairly dense. It has a nice weight to it as all of Marc Jacobs brushes do to me. Um, I find them to be very nicely made and sorry, truck's going by. If you know much or have followed my videos, I right now am in love with the Marc Jacobs brushes. Um, and this one is an exception to that. So let me tell you why. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I believe this is supposed to be very similar to the uh, MAC brush. I think it's a 120 something. I can't remember the number. I have a Sigma dupe of that. Now I will show you, you can see that the bristles are a little bit longer. I'll match them up there on the Sigma one versus the Marc Jacobs one. Um, both fairly similar as far as density. Um, and typically this brush is something that's okay for blush for me, but I'm not in love with it for blush. So that's why I was hesitant to purchase this one. Now I will say, and I don't have much blush on now, so I'll put a little bit on to show you. Um, this is just Benefit Rockateur. Um, it does pick up product well. Let me see the product reflecting there on it. And you just simply have to stamp it on in the area you want. Generally, I start right at my cheekbone and kind of move from there. Or I'm sorry, the apples on my cheek, I said cheekbone. And move from there. Um, sorry. And I find that it does a really, really nice job of doing that. Now, here's where my downside is, is this brush is 48, I believe. Um, I will double check that and let you know that as well. But I find all of his brushes to be the most amazingly soft brushes I've ever used. And this one is not. This one is very scratchy. And I don't know if I have it a defective one, but it feels very scratchy. Like the Sigma one's even softer. And I'm not a fan of that one for this. I can just, I can feel it. Like I can feel each bristle when I do this. It just feels kind of like pokey. And that's not something I'm looking for out of a blush brush. I want something that's very soft, but applies color in the right area and just kind of gives that nice glow to your skin. This one applies it in the areas I want simply by this stamping movement. However, like I said, the fact that these bristles and it doesn't shed, so that's a great thing because we all know that's one of my biggest pet peeves is a brush that sheds. However, just the stamping motion really irritates my skin and kind of makes it feel like it's been prickly. I don't know. I'm not impressed with that portion of it. So I really, I'm in love with the rest of his brushes. He only has four brushes and this is one of them. And this was the last one I think I waited to buy. It might've been one of the face ones, but this one I will say is the least impressive of all the brushes to me. And I'm really disappointed in that because I wanted to love it. And quite honestly, if it was soft, I would probably love it for this. I think it would give a really nice feel, but it's so scratchy and itchy. It reminds me of, you know how some Mac brushes when they're starting to get to that point where they're getting ready to start shedding crazy, um, they get that like itchy feeling on your face. That's what this feels like to me. And I don't like that feeling. So um, I'm really kind of bummed about that because the rest of his brushes, and this one's dirty right now, but oh, they're so, and I've just never felt anything like these brushes before. They're just amazing and they're synthetic and they're just, oh, they're heaven. This one, not so much. And I was kind of bummed about that because I really wanted to fall in love with it. Um, so the brush itself is 38, not 48. I did have that wrong. It is available at Sephora. I will put the link below, um, but I think I'm going to keep searching for like my ultimate brush because this one as much as I love his brushes, is just not it. Um, so for my rating system, obviously there's no pigmentation to it. Texture, I'm gonna say the texture of the bristles, which to me, as I mentioned, is just a little bit pokey. It's funny, when you go like this, it doesn't feel like it would be um, like that, but when you are applying it on your cheeks, you definitely feel it. Longevity, none. Application, now here, oh, so texture was, um, two out of five application. I think it applies products beautifully. I think it has a nice look. I think it feels like it gives you the 
correct placement that you're looking for or I'm looking for I guess um, so application I think it applies nicely it's a good four out of five packaging his packaging is amazing I love his packaging it's just from the boxes they come in to the beautiful brushes with the silver tip base it's just I love them so packaging to me is a good five out of five price $38 if I fell in love with it is a good price for a blush brush um the Bobbi Brown one I think it was 50 that I'm trying and I will do a review on that one the Sephora one was right around the same price so I mean price isn't bad it's middle of the road three out of five but product overall here's where I'm kind of bummed on this product overall on this for me is going to be gosh it's only gonna be a two and a half out of five because I really don't think that this is that blush brush that I'm like, oh, this is it. It's so great and you have to go get it. It's just kind of okay and it is what it is and it's fine, but I'm not in love with it. I don't think it's one I would tell you to go out and run out and get. Now this, as expensive as this is, I would say go out and get it. It's like my favorite brush ever. <laughs> so um, that is my review of the Marc Jacobs The Blush, and the number is 10 brush. You can purchase it at Sephora. Links will be placed below. If you have any other questions, please let me know, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.